HbA1c is a test that uh, is done to assess the uh, glycemic control or the blood sugar control that is pre- that was prevailing over the last 3 months prior to a blood sugar test so even if you do a fasting and a postprandial or a random blood sugar test HbA1c is the test which will tell you the average blood glucose that was prevailing over the last 3 months so it is always an added tool which will help you to assess your glycemic control over the last 3 months your uh, blood sugar test either the fasting pp or uh, postprandial or a random blood sugar test will help you to assess the blood sugar that is prevailing on that particular day and that particular time whereas hba1c is the test which will tell you the average blood glucose level that was prevailing over the last 3 months hba1c is uh, uh, is a uh, is a substance which is formed in the blood when the excess glucose in the blood gets combined with a hemoglobin moiety and forms hba1c and that prevails in the blood throughout the lifespan of the rbc's the average lifespan of uh, rbc's in a human being is around 3 months so that is why we call this hba1c test as the uh, tool for assessment of glycemic control over the last 3 months so uh, everyone should have a hba1c test done once in 3 months and if it is under good control they can get it done once in 6 months or at least once in a year but then people who are non diabetics and who want to have their uh, uh, glycemic control maintained they should have the hba1c test done once in every 3 months and the target for hba1c test is about uh, 7% as per the american diabetes association guidelines or recommendations the uh, hba1c level should be maintained at a target of below 7% but then this 7% is not fixed for every individual it is a little um, it can be individualized depending upon the uh, individual patient for example if the patient is a young patient who has been diagnosed with diabetes recently who has a uh, good uh, reasonable lifespan ahead without much of comorbidities or complications these are the with uh, good support and uh, with good uh, uh, support they should aim at a good glycemic control of even less than 7% say up to 6.5 if the patient is an elderly patient who does not have much of a support system who has uh, comorbidities and complications who has a high risk of hypoglycemia those are the patients in whom the hba1c target can be a little relaxed they can aim at a hba1c of around 7 to 7.5% but then uh, hba1c maintaining a hba1c of around 7% will help the individual to prevent against diabetes related microvascular and macrovascular complications in the long run so that is the significance of hba1c in people with diabetes and for diagnosing diabetes hba1c can be taken as a tool and if the hba1c normal hba1c should be less than 5.4 and if the hba1c is between uh, 5.8 to 7 uh, 6.4 6.3 it's considered as uh, pre diabetes and if it is more than 6.4 it is considered as diabetes and uh, so hba1c is also an important uh, diagnostic tool and uh, an important tool for monitoring the glycemic control for the past 3 months Now, this is a common myth that is prevailing uh, among our people in the population so if no one in the family has diabetes then i will not develop or i may not develop diabetes but then it is not so when there is a strong positive family history of diabetes then there is a definite increased risk of people developing type 2 diabetes of course diabetes have we have type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes type 1 diabetes you don't expect uh, any positive family history but in patients with type 2 diabetes if they have a strong positive family history then you are at a high risk of developing diabetes but even if uh, people in your family do not have diabetes uh, or are not positive tested positive for diabetes then it doesn't mean that you have an increased risk of developing diabetes once you are above the age of uh, 40 now above the age of 30 and if you have other associated uh, risk factors like uh, say obesity or um other associated comorbid conditions like hypertension or uh, dyslipidemia um, <clears throat> or a coronary artery disease etc then again you have an increased risk of uh, developing type 2 diabetes so even if uh, positive family history is not there people should not take it lightly or uh, people should not uh, brush it aside that means uh, people in our uh, family have not tested for diabetes uh, sometimes uh, diabetes can also skip generations 
your grandfather or a grandmother might have had diabetes and then your parents might not have had diabetes and then you are at a high risk of developing diabetes so even if a positive family history is not there if you have other associated uh, problems if you are above the age of 30 then you'll have to check for the presence of uh, diabetes or pre diabetes once in a year at least after the age of 30 so it is very important